Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with Bored, Better Off Reading Every Day. Today's book is I'm Fun Too, and this book is by Jonathan Fenske. It is no fun being no fun. Look at the new guys with their fancy hair and fancy clothes and fancy faces. Everyone wants to play with them. Okay, that one is just weird. I'm no fun. Nobody wants to play with me. I have plain hair and plain clothes and a plain face. Yep. Two dots and one line. That's all I get. Happy, sad, mad, scared. Even when it really hurts. Not the fun you guys. Happy, sad, mad, scares. They laugh, they shout, they sing. It's enough to make me cry, but I can't. Oh, just rub it in, why don't you? I used to have the best bike on the block. Not anymore. I used to have the pranciest pony in the pasture. Not anymore. Let's face it. If I were ice cream, those guys would be super duper chunky, happy birthday blasts and I would be vanilla. I guess I will just stand over here, way over here, while everyone else has all the fun. Aww. Check out this Smarty. He keeps it easy. While we're stuck here in these clunky costumes, it would be so much fun to have such a tasty treat, but I can't even hold a cone. Would you like to try mine? Yes, slurp. It would be so much fun to have such a marvelous mane, but I'm just a mare with no hair. Would you like to try mine? How do I look? It would be so much fun to have such a sunny smile but this suit is driving me bananas. Would you like to try my smile? Ah, oh, no thanks, I'm good. What a fun guy. Hmm. Maybe I'm fun too. I may have plain clothes, plain hair, and a plain face, but I'm like a blank sheet of paper. 
I'm like an empty canvas. I can be whomever I want. Give me a hammer and I'll build a city. Give me a sword and I'll save the day. Give me a rocket and I'll reach the stars. Wow, it's so fun being so fun. The end, boys and girls, of I'm Fun Too. Boys and girls, I want to go back to one particular page because this was the page why I liked this book. So I'm going to go back to it. It's this page. It is the page where he says to himself, maybe I'm fun too. I may have plain clothes and plain hair and a plain face but I'm like a blank sheet of paper. I'm like an empty canvas. I can be whomever I want to be. I can be whomever I want to be. I can be whomever I want to be. God, I love the sound of that. I can be whoever I want to be. Boys and girls, I chose this book, I'm Fun Too, because one, it is about Legos, 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 Lego fun. And I have always been a big fan of Legos. My daughter grew up with Legos. She grew up with the little ones that could fit her hands, which were called Duplos. Those are the really, really thick ones. And then as she grew up, she got the really tiny Legos. And then she loved building Lego land and she loved watching Lego and friends on um, television. So we've had Legos all through her life up until now. And also Legos are a huge, huge thing at our after school program. We have a bunch of boys that I like to call the Lego boys. Sometimes I call them bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Because when they get together, they're a bunch of good, bad boys. When you see them coming, you know that you have got to be on top of your game because they are going to be east, west, north, south. They are going to work you out today. So those boys um, usually want me to get out the Legos and they'll go, Miss Reynolds, can you get out the Legos? Can we play with Legos? And we'll take out the Legos and they'll build and they'll zoom and they'll fly. And the girls, though they didn't want to play Legos as much, they would want to play tea set and they would use the Lego pieces in the tea set as pretend food and pretend drinks as they're drinking their tea. So Lego wasn't just for the boys that wanted to play Legos. It was also for the girls who wanted to use them as pretend food. So Legos go a very, very long way. Don't ever underestimate the power of having Legos at your party or in your playset. So I wanted to share this with you because Legos, they are the fun that never stops. And I wanted to share these with you. These are little boxes shaped like Legos that you could actually store things in. And they interlock into each other. These are kind of on the big side for smaller kids, but 
And this book actually is a Lego book that comes with the tiny, tiny Lego parts that you can build all kinds of contraptions with. This book I would never read to you because it's for really serious Lego. Lego, like Lego masters, like the ones on Fox 5. If you've ever shown that, seen that show with the Lego masters where they build all of these unbelievable things. Well, boys and girls, I had the opportunity of meeting one of the Lego masters at school. He came in to teach a class to my kids and he taught it in the library and I actually met him. He's one of the Lego masters from the Brothers That Brick. Um, those two guys, they're brothers and they are absolute Lego whiz. You should definitely check them out on Brothers Who Brick um, on Instagram. They teach classes, they have a camp and they are unbelievable. And what I love about them is they are always dressed to the nines, popping their collar, wearing suits and all these different things. They're serious about their Legos and they're also serious about the way they look and they do both of them very well. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. It is Miss Reynolds with Board. We're celebrating Legos around here, as you can see. And I just wanna to say to you, you have to have Legos in your play containers. You have to have them in your classes. You have to have them in your group. You have to have Legos if you want real fun to happen and for those juices in the brain to keep working. And both boys and girls love them and both grown-ups and kids. So get out there, boys and girls. Miss Reynolds with Board, better off reading every day. And it has been my pleasure to bring fun with Legos to you. I'll see you soon. Bye.